The feed digests. Decolonization. Decolonization is a word you might have seen connected to indigenous rights and more recently the anti-racism movement sweeping the world. But to indigenous folks, it's much more than a trending hashtag. It is a call to reverse centuries of injustices they faced and still face today. The list is long, but let's look closer at two major issues. From 2008 to 2015, the Truth and Reconciliation Commission uncovered the past horrors of the Canadian Residential School Program. More than 150,000 Indigenous children were forcibly taken from their families to, quote, kill the Indian in the child. The TRC report concluded this was cultural genocide. In 2019, the final report of the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls went a step further. It describes a hard truth that we live in a country whose laws and institutions perpetuate violations of basic human and Indigenous rights all adding up to a deliberate, often covert campaign of genocide against Indigenous women, girls, and 2S LGBTQQIA people. How does a country heal from this? Many of us have now witnessed land acknowledgements, renamed bridges, and removed statues done in the name of reconciliation. Some call for bigger steps though. So let's talk about decolonization. Before Europeans arrived, Indigenous peoples had long established ways of life and many diverse forms of governance. Colonization imposed new political and economic systems that established control over Indigenous peoples. At the same time, they were denied the right to fully participate in those systems. Decolonization deconstructs colonial ideologies of the superiority and privilege of Western thought and approaches. This opens the door for Indigenous communities to reclaim and reconnect with their culture, languages, ways of life, and the acknowledgement of these in today's society. That could also include taking another look at self-government agreements and treaties which still apply. For non-Indigenous peoples, decolonization starts with recognizing and respecting Indigenous history and rights around land, justice, and education. It means learning and accepting Canada's colonial genocidal history and its impacts, and moving forward with a new view rooted in respect, recognition, and a deeper understanding of our relationship to the land and each other. Learn more with the links in the description and share your thoughts. And don't forget to check out the rest of the series.